I've decided to make a video on how assignment six should work to help you be able to create the solution for that. So for this one here, we have a customer uh, order. The what you're going to do is you're going to put in all the order information. So for each item, it's going to be the amount of the item and whether they're taxable or non-taxable. And that's what I mentioned here in the requirements. And then I also have down here test data to um, for you to test your um, solution. And that's what I'm going to show you now. I'm going to show you me putting in the test data and coming out with the uh, required output. So I'm going to move this over a little bit. You can see that I've already started. This won't let me move it over. So um, what is the price of the item? And the default is 100, but you can see down here that the first one should be 300. So this is just a default value, so I'm going to make it 300. And then I'm going to press OK. Then it's going to ask me whether it's taxable or not. You can see this first item is not taxable, so I'll just leave that as no. I have this pop up. Now, this is not a requirement for the, but I recommend you put alerts inside your code. So when you're testing it, you can make sure that it's working okay. The only way to test that within a loop is to put alerts. So this isn't part of the requirement. If you have it in there, I'm not going to deduct any points, of course, but it's not necessary, so don't put it in there just to put it in there. But this is how I know whether it's working or not. A non-taxable total is 300, and I just put a non-taxable order in, so obviously my code is working fine. Is there another item? I'll say yes. And then I'll go down to the next one. That's 200 and taxable. So 200. And then is it taxable? Yes. And I'll click OK. And now I got our first taxable item in. And that is 200. So I know, again, it's working correctly. And I'll click OK. I'll say yes. And the next one is 300 taxable. So I'll put 300. And then for taxable, I'll say yes. Okay, I know this is working because I just put in a 200 taxable and the 300 taxable is 500, so I can see it's accumulating nicely. And then I'll say yes. And the next one is 100 non-taxable. So 100 and no. And now you can see that we have a 300 non-taxable and a 100, so 400 is working. And then I'll say another item and I'll say yes. This one is going to be 200, and this is non-taxable OK also, so it's no. And now I got 600, so 3, 2, and 1. And the last one is 100 taxable. So yes, there's another item, $100. Is it taxable? I'll say yes. And now I have that last one in. Now I've put in all six of these orders, and when I click OK, I'll say no, and now it should give me my output. Unfortunately, I, don't, I didn't put that on the picture here, but this is exactly what um, it shows as what the expected output is. So this is what I want you to, to do. I want you to be able to uh, put in this test data into your program. Same with your flow chart. Put it into your flow chart. Make sure you're getting this output at the end so that you know that your um, solution is working. Okay, that's it. When you finish, you'll upload the code. You'll open up HTML kit, I know it's because, you know, a visual logic file, so your EMF file. You'll also upload your human algorithm and your problem statement. All right, that's it.